And we're back. <clears throat> Alrighty. So we need to get out of here. Can't climb that, apparently. But we have those two last eyes to get to the, the Poe guy. Bargainer, I think one of the loading screens said. Then I guess we can do some more surface exploration. Because we have been in the basement of the world four hours. I would kind of like to go back up top, if you don't mind. Namely, we need to find goddess statues. And like, at this point, I'm about to just head back to the Temple of Time in the sky. To go trade in my blessings. Count your blessings. Because I need more hearts. Desperately. Ooh. What a pretty place. I do wonder why tree monsters suddenly started spawning out of nowhere. But hey, I'm not going to say no. I mean, that was cool. I like them. It's not like they're hard or anything. Just smack them a couple times with an axe and they're done. Not exactly a difficult foe. All right. Let's -a go! Wahoo! Actually, while we're here, I want to go see the top of the Temple of Time. Might be something up there. Used to be a Korok, but who knows what it is now. Spider Link. Spider Link. <laughs> what the hell? You don't see me. Whoa, boy. I thought that was ledge would be enough to stand on. Turns out it wasn't. About here. All right, cool. I'm here! What up? Anything here? A treasure chest. Don't mind if I do, baby. Nostalgic fabric. Tough fabric bearing a nostalgic design. Looks like it'd be used to make a paraglider. So what, can you change, like, the design on your paraglider? That's actually cool. I like that. That's a good idea. More customization. Always cool. That was Breath of the Wild's, um... Fabric, if I recall. That's its paraglider design. Because <clears throat> it's, like, blue now, isn't it? Now that I'm thinking about it. Hello there. Glad to see you're still here, I suppose. Well, later. We... Oh, wait, no, his house is still there, actually. Just all the way over there. Maybe I'll check that out. After we do the eyes, because I want to get, to get this done. Nice. 
I'm gonna get my 90s pants back on. What are you doing? Get down there. Get down there. I hope I don't have to get them again. I'm going to assume I don't. I don't know why that one is back up. But here we go. Later. Watch, I don't want to bounce off the edge of the cliff again. Watch it. Howdy. We're in the middle of nowhere here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh! Alright. Get him. Get it. Got him. Sick. You really have to boogie with these guys. Alright, where are we? So we need to head that way. Here we go! Yeet. Give me the muddled bud. I need it. Is that the central mine? There's a lot of spirits over here. I thought that the sound of the eye rolling was another or more stalls popping up and I was about I was about to scream and or poop myself. Maybe I did. But I'll never tell. This thing? Negative. Yeah, yeet. Well, whatever we're doing, and I need to go there. Yeah, this is the mine. Let's drop this off before we try to go get the other one. Gimme. I'm leaving you. Ooh, big pose. We'll get those in a minute. Hello! Alright. Probably faster to just grab you and run. Let's go! Up, 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 up. I bring you your eye. My behavior is not a threat. What did I do? I drop you. Ta da. Flip it around. I bring you eye number three, friend. Hopefully, the fourth eye is actually underground, because otherwise, we'll have a problem. And namely, 
I have to go back upstairs and get it. That's okay. Here you go. Eye number three. Bring every last one here to me. All right, teleport upstairs real quick. Ugh. Crack my back. And by that, I mean stretch. Mm. Man, we went through it today. For all these stuff. And get a, a large, a large charge. It's a deal. How many can I get? Another 24? Sick. No, I will not be using them for anything else. Well, off I go. Because all they have here is wings, and I can't fly there, so. A walking eye will go. A walking eye will go. I ho, the link is off. To figure out the Poe. Now, there were also those yeah. huge poses that were hanging out somewhere. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Rand Poe. Huh? Huh? Easy 20 pose, baby. Easy 40 pose, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Model bud. More pose for the pose throne. You know, Link keeps doing business with demons. It's starting to make me slightly concerned. What was that? Oh, it's a rock. It's a rock! God, this place is pretty. Is this what it's like to be in a cavern in Dwarf Fortress? Cause it's like kind of the same color scheme, isn't it? <gasps> Bomb flower. Are you my dwarf friend? I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. I've made. A wind axe. Wind razor. Intradasting. Almost to the rock. Or the eye. Whatever. Ooh. Get to the root! <whistles> Nogakoik. I want to watch this cutscene again, because it was very cool.
The this like the yellow root reminds me of um Oblivion. Reminds me of the Shivering Isles. Mania and all that. Maybe I'll play that at some point. I do need to find nice. Eel. Like I like I was saying, I do need to find games to accompany me. Or to accompany um Tears of the Kingdom. Because this is going to be going on for a while. On YouTube, that is. So like I should have something to vary it up a little bit. Time to make a car. Because don't get me wrong, I'll be playing a lot of Zelda games. Like I have. Um. I have Cadence. I already own Cadence. And on the Switch, I can play Wind Waker and Skyward Sword as well. So there will be more Zelda. Don't worry. But like, I, I like other games too, you know? I'd really like to play Final Fantasy at some point again. But like... This computer can't run it. Oh, whoops, that... One's on backwards. But well, maybe one day. Maybe one day. For now, though. We have Tears of the Kingdom to play. All right, eyeball, hang out there. Let's go. That's a cool looking tree. This isn't as nearly as cool as the the Yiga car was, but you know, it'll do. Gonna put more wheels on it, I guess. Make it go faster. More wheels on it. Or wait, Wind Waker isn't on the Switch. It's just Skyward Sword, isn't it? I guess there's also Breath of the Wild. Which I can get the DLC for. So I can do the DLC. I kind of wanna. Kinda wanna. I kinda wanna. But anyway, like I said, other games. 
And Oblivion is one of the games that I like. I'm slowly saving up for my computer as well. But once I get my computer, a new computer down here, and start streaming Steam games again too. Like I have a bunch of um, like Beyond Two Souls and stuff like that. It's stuff I promised I'd play a long time ago that I never got to because my computer died. I'd also like to play horror games again. I like horror games. Yeah, for now. I got your eye, buddy. That took way longer than it probably was supposed to. Because <laughs> I, I spent an hour going the wrong way. Hey, friend. You have returned me, my eyes, the vessels of my spirit. We can now speak properly. In ancient times, my eyes were stolen and sealed away. For eons, I've awaited one who would hear my voice and return them to me. And here you are. As promised, I will repay your kindness by bestowing good fortune upon you. I desire... A heart. The strength that you have chosen will be yours. Sick. Oh, thanks, buddy. <clears throat> ba -da -ba -da! Five hearts. Awesome. Your wish is granted. Sick. You who revived my spirit's four vessels, make an offering. I'll propose to me, spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. They are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander this land. I am one who returns all posed to the afterlife without prejudice. Good, evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. Is it raining? Oh yeah, it is. Hmm. Dark tunic. Tunic obtained by offering pose to a strange statue. It's a spurious replica of the green outfit, once worn by a legendary hero. Sure. I have returned the lost spirits to the afterlife. I'm sure you have. Seek my brethren. If you do, you may receive further blessings. Well, I know one of them is in the camp. Delete stamp. Well, awesome. Rip. That was a lot of fun. And now we finally got that. Ugh. We got a heart out of it. And now we can trade for pose. Let's go talk to the one that was at the, at the lookout landing or whatever. And then we can get back to exploring, baby. Caves and wells have their own native flora and fauna. Yeah, like sticky lizards. And like likes. Hey, I've been gone for weeks in the caves. How y'all doing? Come on, please. Oh, what an excellent night. What are you two doing? Hey, you! Is it true you got the purr pad? Her and I worked together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie pad, technically speaking. Aww. The Robbie rad? Come on, Goggles, are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, you were saying? Huh. I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Don't do that. Like, if you're not going to listen to me, I'm just going to go dump in a chasm myself. No way, no how, you can't do that! 
The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own. We've only begun, barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown, so foul. If anything were to happen to Purr's favorite student, that'd be the end for me. The end. But I need more on that figure. If we have more info on it, then it should help us better understand the depths. Figure. Oh, swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Hey, Josh, a head of depths research. Yeah. Oh, I popped my neck. Felt good. Let me get you up to speed. A survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. Looks like he wants to give a high five. This piece of slate. Specifically, specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. Could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. Uh -huh. That's why I want to go down there. So I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Oh. My goggles here says it's too dangerous and he won't let me go. Josh, come on now. Tell you what, I'll go down there myself and see if I can't find anything about this figure on that slate. And Link will join me! We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on that slate. So when we find what you're looking for, we'll use your Pad's camera to take a picture of it for Joshua. A perfect plan! Camera? You don't know about the camera. It's one of the Pad's basic features. With a camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your pad there. Sounds like you still have more to learn about the Pad. Well, then I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths, though. So I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Wait, hang on. Well, back into the caves we go. With our pickaxe swinging side to side. Looks like he's gone. So he got roped into all of this swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Nice. Oh, and take this too. Nice. Chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. If you attach a bright, bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you'll want to head straight out of Lookout's Landing, Southern's Gates. Lookout Landing's Southern Gate. You'll find the chasm goggles you used just outside. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Okay. Anyway, you. You stand before me. I am the one who turns pose. Or for pose. Those? Beautiful beings. Evil. Give me. Oh, this is a bow. I've returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I've been unable to return Poe's to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. A dark lump. Nice. Have you encountered my brethren in the depths of the land? Wait just a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the Tunic of the Depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. Tunic of the Depths. Gloom Resistance. Tunic acquired by offering pose to a strange statue found in the Depths. Woven of monstrous materials that offer some resistance to gloom. I want it! I sense the locations of my brethren. If you offer me ten pose, I'll tell you where to find one of them. Okay. I acknowledge your offering. I will tell you the location of one of my brethren in the depths of the land. Ah, cool. Go to the location indicated on your map. 
Seek out wandering spirits for my brethren in the depths of the land. Josh's profile has been added. Josh, head of Depth's research. Young scientist whose genius earned her the role of heading up Depth's research. Josh find it, finds it thrilling to be working with Pura. And though she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's disappearance, she's glad to focus her time on the Depths. Good for her. I already have the Dark Tunic. Why is it trying to sell me another? Anyway. Yo, that looks sick. I have a little bit of gloom resistance as well. Well, back into the back to the mine again. See that one they said? I can just teleport over to Geosin Shrine, I suppose. Gotta go help Robbie. Robbie! Red! That is really boring down out there. All right. See a dork. Yeehaw! That was almost very bad. I need to stop pressing Y. Hey, you seen Robbie? How far did Robbie go? Ah. Ponic. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zone I Survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Uh. He rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring him enough bright bloom seeds, and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. Ah. Thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. And he just kept going. And going. Last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. You have any bright bloom seeds with you? Yeah. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You're risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know? You can easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up a struck, so they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zone I survey team. Simplest ways to throw them with your hand. Yes, sir. Those enough skilled with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off in the distance down here. Yes, sir. Oh. If you want to explore the depths, take plenty of those seeds with you. Yeet. Nice. Oh, see you later. I want the deep fireflies. Nice. Activate Nisioge Light Root. Nice. I can see. Hey, you. It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light here. Give of light gets here from the surface. Even my goggles I can hardly see. Should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. One of few sources of light, the glowing root growing down from above has piqued my curiosity. Not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine under the shrine on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing root I see shining west of here, so you better hurry up and get moving. Alright. So under each shrine is apparently a glowing root. Get in my belly. Deep fireflies of all varieties. What are you used for again? They're for glow. Hey, you still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. 
The guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll be fine. Just spotted something of interest through my goggles. Shaped like the figure that Joshua wants us to find. We continue and head west towards one of those glowing routes to see ahead. See you soon. Don't die, Robbie. Robbie. Spotted a figure. I spent a good time down here and I didn't see any figures. Other than like statues and Yiga. Hopefully he didn't get got by Yiga. Those guys don't seem very friendly. Oop. Those nerds ignore them. Ignore me! I think they... Yep. Leave me alone! You don't see me. This is Zionite mine over there. The dark. The depths. The spookiness. Hello? Should take these pants off. Seem to be ca gathering attention that I don't want. Get out of here. Ooh, Waracuda. Yeah, you sus, Light Root. Nice. Activate Light. I like how they combine. Nice. Yeah, so it was one of these guys. Looks like a Vortigaunt. Hey, Robbie. What? Look at how bright that thing got. Light down in the dark is downright refreshing. Hmm, in fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. The statue. Standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. Looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us on the piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get the camera of yours ready. It's time to put to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used a camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Purrbad's basic features. Mm, give me the Purrbad for a second, all right? You think it's brust brusted? Well, there's your problem. You got too many toasters. Your camera's locked, and so's your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and you tap that, and... Da 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 da! Camera! Capture images using the Purr of Head, and you can save them to the album. Nice. 92 creatures. Boom! Now you should be able to use the camera and your high rule compendium. Go, capture a picture of that statue! It's a good chance to verify. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out! Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you capture the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. All right. Boop. Yes. Hey, you, how'd that go? You captured an image with the statue with your camera, then hurry up and show it to me. I'd like to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? There you go. Stupendous! Looks like you've captured it well. Sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue. You just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough, we're gonna have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. 
See you look out landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. Bye bye. All right, so it's obviously another they go somewhere situation. Which is concerning. Why do I have four out of... Oh, yeah! It's the pictures that Zelda took. Bacoblin. Bacoblin. Yes. That is a bacoblin. Hmm, those are more bacoblins. Wait. Zonite deposit. I need the compendium, bro. Something over there in the distance. It's another statue. Muddle bud. Sick. This was one of my favorite parts of No Man's Sky was scanning and taking pictures of things. So, you know, I'm gonna get into it here. Oh, I'm like right next to these guys. Take a picture of a moblin. Yes, I know it's a deep firefly. Take a picture. It lasts longer. Oh, I must walked into the gloom. There we go. Come to me. These are basically just free rupees. Bomb flower. Neat. Well, anyway. Cool. <clears throat> Let's go take a look over here. See what we can see. Something over there. It's probably a building point. Little frocks. Makes me wonder if there's big frocks. Anyway. Come here. Got gotcha, you, nerd. The... Ow! Red choo, choo jelly. Consistently gives off heat. It'll turn into a ball of flame. Alright, I'm out of here. Leave me alone. Uh... Ow! Rude.
Give me your hand. Give me your hand. <laughs> Goblin arm bones. Nice. Stone halberd. Look at all these things I'm accomplishing. All kinds of light roots in the distance. I wish I had my car, man. What is that? Oh, it's a zonite deposit. <clears throat> nice. Bonk. There are some very angry nerds over there. I will not be going that way. I want to go over here. More light! Let there be light! Oh, hey, tree. Bye-bye! Got another light over there. You can kind of see where the others are lit up. That's actually kind of cool. Ow! Give me that muddle bud. I'm gonna get this lit, bro. Nikayam Light Root. It's lit. Look at all that. Sick. Eat egg. Or fish. Look at this place, bro. These guys keep going. What does he have? Like a rock? Bro's ripped, whatever he is. Still think he looks like a Vortigaunt. Nice. Stone Talus. Ah. Put a pin in that. Deal with that later. Whoa, 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 whoa. Frocks. Look at this chonky lad. Oh, he's got like. He's covered in Zonite. Oh my god. Do I have meat? Oops. Meow. Well, it's not what I meant to do, but here we go. Ah! 
Scourge of the Depths Frogs! No. Uh oh. Well, I see why you're called Scourge. Oh my God. Uh, eat ice. Get him in the eye. Gotcha. Um, yeah, just hit it. Hit it, Fergie. Yeehaw. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that. Ow. Please. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Ah! <sighs> gimme that. Climb his arm. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Ow. What a rude, rude, rude dude. Where is he? There he is. Eat it! Found to use for dazzle fruit, baby! Oops. Have another! Do -do 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 -do. God, this guy's tanky. Get away from him. <laughs> Flash bang out. Give me that. My greed. So scary, Frox. Not even a real frog. Yeehaw. Howdy. Oof. Consume shroom. Bang out. You want to do this again? Dork. So, I definitely need more Dazzle Fruit. Is 
that carries these the fight against the frocks those are a sky fruit if i recall oops what <laughs> i was trying to grab my to grab it to throw and he just went Neow. if he didn't land in the mouth i would have died ow gotta eat all my eggs now yeah I have more of where that came from! <laughs> Owned. That was fantastic. A frock's fingernail, a flat, cracked fingernail. Frock's fang, a giant or crunching frock's fang. So it didn't drop an actual weapon piece, but its monster parts are fantastic weapon pieces, if I recall. Yeah, 10, 14. Looks like frocks are like what you want. At least, as of right now, it looks like what we want is frocks. Frogs. That was fun. I like that guy. Shame about the dazzle fruit spam, but, you know, it is what it is. A... Yeah, I got, I got something for you. Oh, peblets. <laughs> Yoink. Ow! Yeet! All right, cool. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me all this. Can't carry anymore. Not gonna stop me. I need more. More. We're coming up on an hour soon. And by soon, I mean in like a minute. We're almost done for the day. Ooh, bomb flowers. Yeah. Give me the pose. I need those. I'm kind of hoping that if I find the... Another one of the po guys that they'll give me more tunic bits. What in the world? Hello? Stall horse. Okay. Do I need to take a picture of these? 
No. Where's the statues? I was following the- there they are. Ooh. Secret pose. Give me... Your soul. Sick. All right, so it's been an hour. I feel like that's a good place to stop for today. Oh, that was a fun fight. I like the frogs a lot. Ugh. Don't know if I'll be able to stream more tomorrow, but we'll see. I am really enjoying this game so much, man. Spent a lot of time in the underground. This place is huge. Anyway, I'm going to go eat supper. Hope you had a good time. And I'll see y'all later.